I have nothing to say. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>
the cultural impact of this show. Like, episode four, Mr. Night Shine Aliens. Aliens send Rick, Morty, and Jerry into an alternate reality, and Rick tries to get them out as oblivious. Jer <laughs> Aliens send Rick. Morty and Jerry into an alternate reality and Rick tries to get them out as oblivious Jerry pitches a marketing slogan for apples <laughs> What up? My name is Jared. I'm 19 and I don't know how to read I'm gonna put this one on Jessica's friends watch them because There's a reason behind this. I forgot about this episode and I usually never forget anything so that means like it wasn't very memorable but it did have some nice plot twists and just like okay the whole part of alien abduction was kind of like eh, okay mind-blowing but whatever that's the whole series right but the part of Jerry pitching his slogan campaign campaign slogan oh that was funny that saved the episode from being a Jerry episode <laughs> Episode number five, me seeks and destroy. Morty has grown weary of Rick's shenanigans, so he leads a supposedly safer adventure. Jerry conjures weird creatures to help him with his golf game. I think that explains it. Like it's a me seeks episode, therefore, therefore, <laughs> therefore it deserves to go in the me seeks approved tier because. Rick potion number nine. <laughs> a potion designed to make Morty attractive to one girl goes viral and infects all of Earth. So Rick has to clean up the mess by creating another mess. Um, that episode is a squanchy. I mean... Raising Gazorpazorp. After Morty fathers a child with a sex robot, Rick and Summer visit the robot's planet where the kid grows into an adult within days. I'm gonna say Jerry watches those. Like, it was funny, but it was kind of like that, eh, you know? It wasn't the best. It wasn't mind-blowing. Number eight, Rick's team minutes. Unimpressed with what's on TV, Rick installs cable that gets shows from other dimensions. Everyone uses special goggles to see their alternate <laughs> selves. Um, Mr. Poopy Butthole's faves. Because it was just hilarious with the whole Jerry doing cocaine <laughs> with Johnny Depp <laughs> of Christian Stewart's butt. <laughs> and Summer <laughs> being the downfall to her parents. Ah, sounds similar, hey? Number nine, something wicked this way comes. Rick is skeptical of Summer's new job at a shop run by the devil. Aha! Uh, Jerry and Morty argue about Pluto's status as a planet and end up traveling there. I'm gonna say Jessica's friends watch them because this episode, like the whole Pluto part, it was kind of like, ugh, I hate Jerry, <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever. But the whole devil aspect of it, <laughs> devil being so sad he wanted to hang himself <laughs> because Rick bullied him. Ah, <laughs> oh, iconic. Okay, number 10. Close Rick counters of something. I don't know, I can't read. Uh, Rick's just trying to enjoy a nice breakfast, but he's kidnapped by a group of alternate Ricks and taken to stand trial for crimes <laughs> against Rick. Oh, that goes all the way up to Squanchy. Because it was hilarious, the whole Morty being his shield and Morty's being... <laughs> Next one, last episode of the season. Ricky business. When Jerry and Beth go away to take part in a recreation of the sinking of the Titanic, Rick and Sam will throw a party that gets out of control. Um, this one also goes up to Squanchy because that also, like, the cultural impact of the show, it introduced us to so many characters that are, like, really important. The whole bird person meeting Tammy, I think it was, I don't remember. Like, that was important so yes 
Anyways, I'm so tired. Oh my god, I'm gonna take a nap. Oh no, I can't because I have to upload this vid today and edit it now. Anyways, I'm super excited for Rick and Morty coming back May 10th, so in like 10 days, maybe even less, I think. I don't remember. Oh, so excited, I cannot wait. <laughs> stay safe and stay sane. And yeah, I love y'all.